Hey everyone, Dev with Crime Hive. In this true crime story, we're talking about the murder of two children here. And you're looking at the father of those two children who was accused of beheading those two children. So we're gonna talk about the details of that case. Before I do, again, if you like these kind of true crime stories, this is Dev with Crime Hive. You can subscribe. If you like it, like it, share it. And that way others can, can be notified of this channel and, and the videos that I'm coming out with. So let's talk about this particular story here. This is our disturbing case of the week. And again, you're looking at Maurice Taylor Sr. here. He's 30, 40 years old, and he worked for a physical therapy and, and fitness company. And, you know, he he worked at a facility, but lately, of course, with what's going on, is working from home and we learn some pretty disturbing things and we're gonna talk about that. So it really begins on December 4th where police found these two children decapitated, right? But what really led up to that? And so when we, when we look at all the different reports and everything that's happened, we get a little background of Maurice. We learn, you know, he's 34 years old. He, again, is working from home. People describe him as mellow, reliable, and these are clients of his. And, and, and so on December 1st, just a few days prior, there were some clients that had concerns because he was missing these Zoom fitness sessions and he was supposed to, to um, attend those. He'd been very reliable in the past, so this definitely sparked some concern and he was missing those. So multiple clients are trying to reach out to him, no response. And one of them actually called 911. And, you know, and it's interesting. I, I've seen the reports of fear of carbon monoxide poisoning. I don't really know how that comes about. I think it's just some of these clients were worried because he has a family. You know, he's 34 years old. He has four children. He has a wife at the home. And no one's responding. So they're concerned. They're thinking apparently carbon monoxide poisoning. Well, we don't really know if the police showed up that day on December 1st. And we don't still really know much of the timeline as far as what happened, what day, when these children were found dead, and, and so forth. So what we learn going back to Friday, that fateful day, 7.50 a.m., all right? 7.50 a.m., and this is the house that we're looking at, all right? This is, this is where, where it takes place. It takes place in the 45,000 block of Century Circle. Just to give you an idea, we're looking at just, just north of Los Angeles here, and you know, it's still in Los Angeles County. So you, you've got the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department involved in this case later on. But what we learn on the 4th, early in that morning, another client, an attorney, was concerned for his safety as well. So he actually calls 911 saying that there's a possible gas leak. Again, um, I don't know if this was just something that these clients came up with because they wanted the police to come out there and check this out and make sure everything was okay. Just more of a welfare check is what we're talking about. And so the fire department goes out first. They, they realize that um, there is no gas link, but then they find two dead bodies. All right. Now, uh, going back to that client though, he, you know, and I really want to point this out because in the articles he mentioned, you know, he heard his wife yelling at him often while he was on the phone. So like when he was during these sessions, these client sessions, he would hear yelling. He felt like, um, Maurice, you know, may have been kind of overwhelmed and, 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 and stressed out from, from what was going on, um, with his possible personal life. So we don't know again, a lot of details on that. We don't even know his mental health status. We don't know. Um, if, if something triggered this event, right? But what we do know is the fire department goes out. There's no gas link, uh, no gas leak, uh, two dead bodies. And these were the two children that were ages 12 and 13 who were found dead. Now, there was, you've got the mother still in the home, and then you've got two other children, both eight and nine, that were in the same home at the time, unharmed. It's a little odd. It's a little strange because you know, you're, you're, it makes you wonder, you know, had this attorney not called in, would those other two children and the, and the wife be found, you know, would they, would they be murdered? Or, you know, wh why were they still there? Why didn't they call 911? Uh, just a lot of unanswered questions right now, and we're going to figure that out. And obviously, if you guys come up with more updates, which there will be, you can post those below and give the community, the Crime Hive community, more context in this. 
So uh, we we learn that uh, police then show up and and they I mean the the two children are found in two separate bedrooms and they're deca- they're decapitated. There's stab wounds, lacerations all over, and we just don't know what triggered this event. So. Uh, what we see, and then I'm going back to Daily Mail there, they've got video and pictures of, so here's the incident when they came out to the address you're seeing there. Um, you know, you got a, quite a scene, but I want to show you the footage of when Maurice was actually uh, actually taken into custody. And this is what this is what the footage is right here, as you can see. You can see he's handcuffed to the gurney all right so he's actually handcuffed being being uh transported on that gurney and, and from all accounts from some of these other articles that i'm learning it, it it appears that he had uh reached out and said that he was having trouble breathing and requested to go to the hospital so it sounds like he was that's why he was on that stretcher went to the hospital and uh and then was was later uh transported to the jail where you know I've seen anywhere from a two million dollar bond, like right here, to four point two million dollar bond that he's being held on, and he's still um, awaiting these charges. We still I don't have access to the arrest affidavit, which I did, but uh, you know it's, this photo right here already on December seventh, two thousand twenty. They've already had a memorial for this, uh, and again, what's interesting, what we still want to know, the mother, two children not harmed, unharmed, you know, what's their involvement? They were interviewed, everybody was interviewed, Um, no other arrests were made. It seems like Maurice was the sole actor in this, in this vicious crime. And again, if you guys have more updates, let me know, comment below. This was a shorter video than normal. I will be back with another video soon. This is Dev with Crime Hive. You all take care. Thanks.